Jamie's joining us now here, and, and we got to pinch ourselves because this is still just the early portion of 2020. It's only mm -hmm. January 3rd, for crying out loud. We're looking at rain here in the Miami Valley. Yeah, I know. And just a couple years ago, we were, I think yesterday's record low was 13 below zero in 2018. <laughs> so <laughs> it can be a lot colder. Yeah, okay. We are way above normal. We're going to be near 50 degrees all day. We're even up that close this morning. We have upper 40s across all of the area. And we're just going to kind of hang in the mid to upper 40s through the morning. We have rain area wide. That's going to continue to fall fairly steady uh, through 8, 9 a.m. And then we'll start to see it break up a little bit where we do catch some dry time in there. And then this afternoon we'll still have some spotty showers rolling through. So it's just going to be an unsettled day. Be prepared for rain at any time. Have your umbrella as you head out. 50 degrees are high. We'll be near 54 down towards Cincinnati, 52 in Columbus. Notice the cooler air off to our northwest. That is the air that will be moving in for the weekend. So this will be our last warmer day before we start to feel chilly again. You can see the rain. Everybody is starting the day with wet conditions, some ponding possible because we did have some heavier downpours come through during the overnight hours. And we have a lot of moisture streaming in from the south. Here's our cold front to the west that will work through tonight into tomorrow. And as some colder air follows that, we do expect rain to mix with and change over to snow tonight into Saturday. Notice the precipitation chance drops a little bit late morning, early afternoon, but it doesn't completely go away. And then it comes back up mid to late afternoon. We're just going to continue to see the potential for some scattered showers. Right now it's 49. Winds are calm, but we're generally seeing a southerly flow ahead of that cold front with the front passing through. Winds are going to turn in from the west and that will usher in the colder conditions. You can see those values back to the west in the 30s, 20s and even teens. So that's the push of cool air that'll be moving in for the weekend. And our temperature trend is still going to be above normal for the next 10 days or so. The normal high 35, even though we turn chilly Saturday, Sunday near 40, we're above normal. We will come close to normal next week, Tuesday, Wednesday. But right after that, we get back into the mid and upper 40. So really, in order to get snow, you have to have that cold air in place. And our next chance at seeing any snow looks like it'll be next Tuesday when we do get that push of colder conditions. Future track shows rain around this morning steady and then some breaks late morning, early afternoon, but occasional showers will continue. Notice the northwestern counties stay fairly quiet during the afternoon, so you may be a dry day ahead up, up, up towards Salina, Wapakoneta. Tonight, another push of moisture and some snow mixing in across the north through Saturday morning. We may see some spotty rain or snow showers Saturday afternoon, but any snow accumulation looks pretty minimal. Up to 50, cloudy, cool with occasional rain today, very unsettled. Tonight, we'll continue to see some rain showers, possibly mixing with some snow across the north as we drop to 35. And then rain or snow showers around tomorrow, a breezy, colder day with a high of just 39 degrees. Sunday, we're dry. We'll see some sunshine up near 40 and then 42 on Monday, mostly sunny. Here's the next push of cold air Tuesday, Wednesday with some snow showers possible Tuesday, but the cold air doesn't last. We're back in the mid 40s on Thursday.